okay, we kind of have to hobble it back. Oh man, guys, <laughs> this sucks, dude. Oh no, we ran out of power, dude. We gotta walk the rest of the way back, man. Crikey's, dude. All right, that's fine. I got it. We, we're, we're not that far, dude. Literally, we had like a mile, well, less than a mile left. <laughs> I have to hike the rest of the way back. It's not too far. I think it's about half a mile. What I'm gonna do... Okay, I got a second bike, guys. I have a kit. My KLX 140 is at the campground. There's a train that just passed by. But, uh... Oh, shit. The other water crossing is over there. Yeah, so literally I can see where the campground is, but it's like pretty far still. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, it's like half a mile. We still got half a mile to go. I will push this to the, uh, I'll push it to near to where the water, well, we'll walk it a little bit. I'll kind of stash it somewhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hike back, go grab the, the, my second battery. Okay. I took two batteries with me. I'm going to throw it in a backpack, hop on the KLX, ride back here. Okay. Yeah, how, how am I? What am I gonna? How am I gonna do that? I have to, that means I have to walk all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to push this through the water crossing. Definitely don't want to do that. That would suck. That, I would get all wet. <laughs> oh, I can. I can. So let me give it a little power here. Should put in eco mode, yo. Yeah, it's a zero percent, man. Yeah, this says there's no charge at all. It's yeah, it's at 58 volts, man. We could still go a little bit farther, you know. So we might damage the battery. Kind of like paddling along here now. <laughs> oh yeah, we're moving now. Barely. Oh, oh, it died. Okay. No, we're there. Like the, the bridge is right there, man. We're we literally made it. Yeah, I can see the group campground over there. We're literally there, dude. Okay, this is what Hazelbeck is gonna do. This emergency uh emergency pit maneuver here. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to push this to where the water crossing is. I'm going to walk across the water crossing. And, you know, it'd be better just to just, uh, well, yeah, just so I don't have to carry the battery, you know. Well, either way, you're going to have to carry the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to push this to the water crossing. I think it's just right here. Literally, it's right there. And then I'm going to walk back to my campsite, put the second battery in, because I don't want to walk this over the water crossing. That would suck. I'm gonna get my feet super dupery wet. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it in a backpack, ride on over here to KLX. Uh, so I gotta go through the cro water crossing two more times. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. I gotta go through the water crossing two more times. All right, guys. And then uh, just to say, you know, Unfortunately, the uh, the 27500 battery didn't make it, but uh, it was Hades Mega's fault. The biggest the problem was like when I got to the other side of the canyon, I I wanted to go play around there for a little bit and then that ate up a lot of power cuz the sand is deep there. So yeah. 
All right, this is the water crossing. I'm gonna leave the bike here. I'm gonna walk back to my campground, just not too far. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, we're gonna hop on the KLX, put the battery in the backpack, ride on over here, swap the battery, and then ride, swap the battery, ride back. So I gotta go through the water crossing again. So this time I get to do water crossing on the gas bike. Okay, well, this is it, we made it to the water crossing. However, however, I don't have any more power to go across it. So let me get a rock here so my bike doesn't topple over. Maybe a smaller rock. The guy on the Trail 90 is over there. Maybe he's going to ride across the railroad tracks. All right. Okay, I got to walk this twice. <laughs> when I go back to get the light bee. All right. Oh, hallelujah, we made it back to my van. There it is. I wish you'd check in the campsite closer to the entrance now. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is what's gonna happen. Under that cover is my KLX 140. Okay, so while I warm this up, I'll go grab the other battery, so. What the heck? Why isn't this starting? this. Oh. I ran it off the thing. Oh. Okay. I don't know how we're going to start this. I don't have a charger for this. Okay, that didn't work. I don't know what happened, man. I didn't bring a battery charger with me, man. I got a jump starter. You can't jump with that cable, man. It'll blow the fuse. So I just brought this bike for no reason. <laughs> okay, guys, since plan B didn't work, my bike is not freaking running now. I don't know why. The battery's running out of power, and, um, and the carb seems like it flooded. I left the fuel on all night, but it shouldn't flood like that if it's good, you know? So, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna hike back. <laughs> All right, you see that? I just put it in the backpack, and we're gonna go hike back to the bike. Okay, better make sure I got my key for the bike <laughs> and the key for the battery door. Okay, I got everything. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna walk back to the bike, swap the battery, and ride it back. So at least this way, we don't have to walk back we're just going to walk back. We're not going to ride through that water twice, okay? But it's been fun on the KLX. All right, here we go.
dude, all I can say is it's a good thing it ran out where it did and not, not farther back there, okay? Um, yeah, literally, it's in walking distance, you know, and it's not hard, soft sand. I mean, soft sand that we have to walk through, you know. Just got to go walk through this water crossing. Whew. Just think about it. The 21700 pack is bigger and heavier, too, so I got to put that on my back. That sucks, dude. All right, here we go. All right, here we are at the water crossing again. Just got to walk it one more time. Get my feet wet one more time, and then that'll be it. I don't think there's going to be any more water crossings on this uh, trip. <laughs> you can tell Hayes make it. It's not a big fan of water crossings. It looks like we're going to get to see one of those big uh, railroad trucks uh, drive through here. Go. Makes it look easy, right? All right, here we go. Let's do this battery swap thing, man. Ooh, the battery got cut here by the battery door. I have to grind that or something. That's not good. Yeah, it did. Oh, not the battery, it's the, the connector for the, for the bike. charge well 94% okay now we're gonna put this battery in here okay just barely fits in this backpack it's a strong backpack be able to carry 20 125 uh, 25 pound battery you know okay I'm gonna make sure I put this backpack on real tight it doesn't get all crazy on me while riding through the water Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do I need my goggles? Yeah, let's put my goggles on just in case. Never know. All right, all you gotta do is just ride straight across, man. We did it earlier this morning. It was easy, okay? Do it. deep here. Oh, my butt's so wet. That was it. We did it! Good job! All right, we made it back, guys. I got the GPS and the bike back here. So total trip was 18.6 miles. Okay, it's supposed to be like eight miles, but we did a lot of you know random stuff. 
Um, it is now 1300. We could have made it back at 1200 if we hadn't uh, ran out of power. We're at 1400 foot elevation. Okay. I will take a picture of all these also, by the way. Okay, uh, 18.6 miles. We hit a max speed of 50.2 miles an hour, probably when we were ripping it on the those uh, the river sections, the straight sections. And uh, we were move, had a moving average of 13 miles an hour, a moving time of one hour, 26 minutes. So one hour, 26 minutes of riding and two, two hours and 50 for three hours, basically. So we took three hours of breaks. No, 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 no. We, we rode one at like one and a half hours and then we took a break for one and a half hours, okay? So, but yeah, I, like I said, it was supposed to be a scenic, slow ride today. So, there we go. We made it back. Now I gotta figure out what's wrong with my KLX, man. Uh, it looks like we won't be able to use the KLX until uh, we get to Baker and I can get a, a battery tender charger for, for my bike. I wish I had brought one with me, man. Because I could have easily charged it with my, uh, my charger. Because we're going to be charging batteries all the time. <laughs> okay? That's a bummer. I, I really wanted to ride the KLX, too. That's, it's a great riding through the desert. It's got a lot of power now, too. So, All right, here's Miguel. We made it. Oh, by the way, guys, we did, like, only, like, 19 miles, and, uh, and we ran out of power. So that, that's about right. The Light Beast should get about 20 miles of off-road riding. So, yeah, that's really as good as we're going to do, man. Only 20 miles out. That's it, you know. It's no good. Not very good for desert riding, for sure, dude. Um, and it eats up a lot of power in the sand, so it should do better. But the sand just—I'm pretty sure the sand just ate up that power. You can hear it's struggling; it's working real hard. So um, we made it back with zero percent. I would say minus one percent because we had to put the other battery in it to get it back. Okay. Um, so for whatever reason, I guess the battery's hopping up and down, and it cut the. The, the black wire here, so I'm going to have to get some electrical tape. Fix that, or, or silicone tape. And what I'm going to have to do is grind this rib down so that doesn't happen. See, it's, it's really sharp, and I kind of cut it a little bit, so... Yeah, so we'll have to fix that. Alright, well, I guess I better charge another battery. Alright, yes, maybe I'll...